Wow. People around here at Chick are saying, I am acting just like Jack did when a new track came out. Over the last 16 and a half years, I have written a lot of tracks, many with Jack, and some he let me write by myself. But Adopted is the first track to have my name on it, and that feels totally different. In the last few days, I've talked with a number of people I've handed tracks to, and fellow Christians have said some interesting things and asked some intriguing questions. I prayed about it, and I'm going to answer some questions and share some insights gained from passing out tracks these last few days. Hopefully, you'll learn some new ideas, just as I have. Hi, I'm David Daniels from Chick Publications. This picture of Jack was taken decades ago. I got this from Jack's personal collection. I've looked over and over at it, and I can pinpoint when it was written. First, Look at Jack. This is clearly 1970 or before. Second, look at the tract. That is Holy Joe, which was published in 1964, but it's also large format. So it's from between 1964 and 1970 when the tracts shrunk to their present size. And it has to be late 1967 to early 1968, just before Jack met George, because George wasn't part of this yet. And Jack started a program later called OSC, Operation Somebody Cares. And to promote the idea, he went to churches to encourage them to pass out chick tracks and get actively involved in winning souls. In this picture, these men and ladies are critically viewing Holy Joe. Take a look at their faces. And Jack. Look at Jack. He's smiling one of those, I don't know how they're going to react to this, nervous smiles. You see, when a new track came out, Jack always wanted to know how it was doing. Are there any testimonies? Reactions? Do people like the track? Are they buying it to hand out to others? Jack used to put it this way. I just want to see if my baby has all its fingers and toes. Well, brothers, sisters, that's how I feel. I'm handing out Adopted everywhere I go, just like Jack handed out Holy Joe after it came out in 1964. And I'm paying close attention both to reactions and to questions people ask. A couple of days ago, my wife Deborah and I were in a restaurant, and a nice lady with a couple of kids sat down. I started talking to her and offered her a copy of Adopted. She looked at it and said, Is it kid-friendly? Because my daughter reads everything. I assured her it was, and in fact, I used words that a third-grade child would understand since I've been a third-grade school teacher. Then she let me give them to her and both of her kids. This is an important principle. Know the tract. Be sure you've read the tract yourself before you hand it out. I'll come back to this. I gave some to the workers at our favorite taco place, one of whom we've known for years. So first I called to her and offered her one. Then I asked the others if they wanted one too. They did. Well, that was an easy way to get a bunch of tracts out. On another day, they had a different crew, one that I didn't know. And I said to them, have you seen the newest one? And I offered them four adopted tracks, one for each. No, tr no pressure. I just offered. They could always say no. It's just that they don't usually say no. So they grabbed them, opened them up, and started looking. And I overheard the most interesting conversation. I was adopted. So was I. I was too. That's three of the four people I just handed tracks to. I had no idea, and I never would have known had they not reacted to the tract in front of me. But here's a suggestion. When you hand out the tract, you might want to say something like, here's something to read on your break. Because sometimes they just stand there and start reading them and forget about their customers and their work. We don't want to get them into trouble. 
When they put them in their pockets, you know you've communicated. In a quieter time, they can actually consider the salvation message, and that's what we want. At our favorite spaghetti place the other day, I gave a copy to the server, and she said, oh, I have to put this with the collection in the back. So there is a collection of Chick Tracks somewhere in that restaurant, and people read them. I also hand out at least one to the people at the front counter whenever we enter. Last week at the courthouse, where I filed my son's wedding papers, I had to go to three windows. So three court employees got Chick Tracks, and they were happy to receive them. How awesome is that? I'm telling you, when you believe in what you're doing, you could really get them out. I had to keep refilling my pockets with tracks and putting tracks into my jacket pockets. I can't tell you how much I love doing this. I have a track that says exactly what I wanted to say and I'm handing it out because I believe in the message. And people say it shows. People also wrote and texted me on Facebook the last few days. One said, I would like an assortment of tracks. Well, we sell a tract assortment pack in Spanish and in English, over 130 uh, titles to choose from. Here's mine from over 23 years ago. I still have it to this day. Deborah, our kids and I spent entire days just reading the tracks and talking about them. When I found ones I really liked, I could buy more of those and give them out. One person wrote to me that he wanted to get tracks to hand out, but he didn't want to take the time to read them. I recommend to everyone, before you hand anything out, read the tracks yourself. Read them through so you can talk about questions they might have. Read the scripture verses and be familiar with them so you can help the readers look them up and you can show them those verses. And again, whether it's on your cell phone or in your pocket, I really recommend having a complete Bible that you can use at a moment's notice. That's part of being instant in season, out of season from 2 Timothy 4 verse 2. You definitely want to read them before you choose them to hand out. Since 1961, we've made 264 Chick Track titles with different stories, not counting different editions of stories or stories targeted to different groups. We want you to know what you're handing out. That's why we have all our tracks that are in stock online for you to read at chick.com. Okay, this actually happened. Someone wrote me a whole letter about a single word I used in a vlog about adopted. She said I shouldn't use that word in the tract. Then she admitted she hadn't actually read the tract for herself. But it was right there online, and I posted the links in numerous places. So I just wrote back, encouraging her to read the tract for herself. What else could I do? I really hope you will take the time to read Adopted, and if it works for you, I hope you'll pass it out. I'm just as anxious to find out what happens with my first official tract as Jack ever was. Sometimes in the office, I'd look at him and say, would you like me to check how our new tract is doing? And Jack would say, yes, let's go ask. Our goal is the winning of souls. I really hope this tiny paper missionary will help you to win the lost. I think Jack knew that the desire to win souls would wrap itself around me, and it has. My sole concern is a concern for souls. I hope it's yours too. And I hope God will use me even a tenth as much as he used Jack during his lifetime. And I pray he'll bless your efforts at winning souls many times over. Let's do what we can while there's still time. God bless you and have a wonderful day.